Welcome back, Random TV Review. It's your girl, Lana. And your boy, Stanley. All right, coming in with a power review, The Devil Inside. Before we go ahead and get started, let's go ahead yeah. and get the YouTube thing out <laughs> the way. If you are not a family member, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's free 99. It will go up soon. Hey. Go ahead and make sure that your bell is pressed in. That way you'll get the exclusive notifications when we drop another one. And then, hey. Ra. Go ahead and um, hit that thumbs up, thumbs down button. At this point, it doesn't even matter. Yeah. You've already been counted. Already been counted. Okay. We've gone ahead and teamed up with teespring.com mm -hmm. and we have created more merch for the channel. So if you would all do us a favor, go ahead and hit that um, link down in the description bar. It will take you right to the Random TV Review store on teespring.com. Yes, indeed. And you will see the merch that we have designed specifically for this channel. Yeah. And we would appreciate if you go and buy a little something, something. Hey. You know what I mean? Y'all say y'all love us. Come through. Hey. But anywho, we're going to get on with the power <laughs> review this week. I'll just go ahead and put my thoughts out there right now. Who, who can you trust and who can you run to when you need love? Exactly. <laughs> I'm sitting here like, <laughs> no, none of them. Alright, yeah. don't take that thing away. Alright, so we picked up where we left off last week that Tasha's headed on over to Quicksilver's house mm -hmm. in order to get him to collaborate with her story, put him as lie on trial. So she asked him, he was like, No, I can't do that because I'm gonna lose my job and I could go to jail. Are you still trying to protect James? And she had to end up telling him that no, James didn't kill uh Ray Ray. It was so Tariq. And he was like, what? So you've been lying to me this whole time? Said, yes. You messing with a married woman. Yeah. I mean, Honesty you, ain't part yeah. of this plan right here. Exactly. And you a lawyer. And we know sometimes lawyers got to tell something, you know, little fibs to get you off too. So you understand the guy. So he was like, the best thing we can do is have Tariq to turn herself in. And she was like, oh, hell no. She know uh -huh. you know what the system would do with black boys like him? To rip him apart. Rip him apart. Exactly what they're gonna do. She said he's a good kid. Yeah. He got a bright future ahead of him. Huh. I said, you looking at the future we looking at? Uh, yeah, the bright future of uh, being a kingpin like his daddy. <laughs> Over there into college. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Selling them pills. That's what that's what he's gonna be uh his bright future is. So she begs and begs and he like, okay, huh. I'll do it. Mm. I said, God darn, that God darn puss gets you every time, boy. That girl said, and then he said, well, let me go ahead and collect yeah. on this right here, right now. And this is the first, we hadn't seen Tasha's boobs all got Oh, no it had been a while, yeah. I said, for a minute, I forgot how X-rated it really was around uh -huh. here. I said, oh, I forgot, I forgot this is stars and this is power. Because I was like, okay, you know, you 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 used to it stopping right here. Said, yeah, uh-uh. And then Angela. I said, oh, we're back to this. Okay, we're, we're, back, we're, we're back. back on this bull skit. So, Tasha comes back and tells Ghost that, hey, Qu Quicksilver is going to lie for me. And he didn't believe it. He was like, he's not that kind of cat. I mean, he ain't going to do that. Uh -uh. He ain't going to be down for you like I was or like I am. He not going to do it. I so, thought he was being a straight hater, though. I was like, come on, Ghost. So you mean to tell me you think that it, can't nobody else do what, what you, you do, do yeah. when it comes to Tasha? And I was like, okay. Yeah. We're going to see. But, I uh, hope he proved me wrong. Yeah. <laughs> so we see, you know, of course, Ghost, the protector, he went and rolled up on him say, hey, I found that the that's master that earring. Up. Yeah. Huh? That's what he messed up. Yeah, that's what he messed up. Yep. So he rolled up. I got this earring. I got the match. And so, you know. Qu Quicksilver got scared. He just knew that he was going down this time. He was like, I'm here. I, you're going to collaborate that story for my wife. You're going to get her off. And you can do whatever the fuck you want to do with my wife after that. I said, well, I was like, okay. he must really do love Angela. <laughs> well, I don't even that. care now. I don't even care. So, we see later on the episode, Tasha comes back over to Quicksilver house. And the house is empty. Nothing there. It was uh, just like it was on having to have not. <laughs> same way when Jim them came back, everything was gone. I guess the same moving company got they got uh, Quicksilver about that house. Got him about it. So he left a subpoena. He her check or her thousand dollar check, check that she wrote him to represent her, and a, a note to say I'm sorry. I said, <laughs> I said, well, hold on. Let me go ahead and back this up. Yeah. 
Um, he only cost a thousand dollars. I you know, think that. I know it was a down payment, but a lawyer like him, it was only a thousand dollars. It cost more money around here. Yeah. Then. But see, that was thousand dollars and some and some and some booty. See. Well, it must not been good. He gave her the money back. <laughs> oh, he got what he wanted now. He go. I said, darn, Tosh. So I said, once again, Ghost was right. He was right. He called it. But I think what happened, this is my opinion, what had happened with old Quicksilver. It was cool when he thought he was going to be in charge of everything. Mm. When he could tell the story on his own terms, how he wanted to tell it. Yeah. But when he got that subpoena to say, aha, grand jury, mm -hmm. we on to your tail too. So I think that was like, ho, ho, ho. Mm -hmm. I ain't really built for this kind of skit right here. Yeah. I, he would have been her lawyer and he would have lied and he would have did all that. But then when he gets subpoenaed <laughs> to come before the grand jury. He was like, no, um, I like you and all, but not that not, much. we're not going to do this. Because Same. I don't even know if you're going to touch on the subject that they they coming down on Angela and all of them. Yeah, I'm coming down on They ready to come down on all. But this is the part that tripped me out. They really think that Angela is some kind of um, a humminess in yeah. this, this game. It's like, what? Talking about, so she's the one, she's the this, she's the that. And I was like, like what? Y'all got it all wrong. You got she it just all get, twisted? She just being bucked and she trying to cover skit up. Exactly. For stuff that she done meddled in <laughs> and try to keep her man out of jail. <laughs> and then it just keeps growing and, and growing. growing and growing. That's but right. she ain't no her man ass. No. Y'all think she's Alicia? Near. She is not Hell an Alicia. No. <laughs> not, not nowhere near. But I'm mad that he won't man enough to come and tell her to her face. He just gonna just skip town. Come on, Quicksilver. That's at least and, and then to a leave absence from work. Yeah, at least at least if you couldn't see her face to face, give her a phone call. But you can leave a punk a note. Tell her I'm sorry. Mm. Come on now. That was kind of i um, gangster though. That was yeah, kinda, it was gangster, yeah, but, but you know he you know he you know he not did. in real life. Yeah, in real life you gotta you know that's, you know, that's own up the, on it. Yeah, that's the ultimate like. I got you, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, you gotta own it. So now we see, uh, oh, uh, Tommy going over to Keisha's. He done sweet talked his way right on back into them draws. God darn Tommy. It didn't take long either. Ain't take long at all. So now she think that he's serious because he stayed over all night long and fixed her a bowl of cereal the next day. When what? And all of this happened. Because Tommy went over there and had dinner yeah. at his dad and stepmom's house. Stepmom been knowing that Tommy is Teresa's son. Exactly. She just wanted Teresa to own up to it. And she said, I thought I he said, had been told her. Uh -huh. I didn't know yet. Uh -uh. And um, he went ahead and um, confessed it and she forgave him and slept the skit out of him. Right out of him. And she said, I forgive you. Go ahead and get him on over here. Yeah. We can get the note. But this is the part. And I said, that guy doing Connie, either <laughs> she's going to rat on him oh, or yeah. she's going to direct him in the right way. Because right now I'm about sick of Teresa too. Yeah. She said, you know what? He's going to be the only family you had left, have left after I'm dead. Yep. And you about to put that boy under just because you wanted to get out to spend my Same. remaining, you know, the remaining days Same. that I have with take me. that one all the way through. He was like... She was like, you don't have anybody else. Yeah. The family don't kick you to the curb. Sammy, that's all you got. Yep. And you about ready to snitch on him. And when she told him that, that got his wheels turning. Yeah, it got his wheels turning. Yeah, because he definitely thinking about that. And Mark and, and them came over to the house. Yeah. Me, so they always keep showing up. They so like, gonna blow up my spot. But that's why nobody want to do deal with the police, like I told y'all. Mm -hmm. Because they always do that. They don't. They really don't have your best interest at heart. All they care about is winning the case. Mm -hmm. And they that's want all they want. On the murder. So since you brought up the, the nice old dinner, you got to remember Karen came up over there. Thomas' other mama, she was pissed off when she found out that he was up over there having dinner because she ain't never got that. What's her name, Karen? It's a Karen. Don't it? I think it's Karen. I have no idea. What it do, it don't even matter. His I do mama. know her name, but I can't think. I can't think her name right Whatever. now. So she wanted some of that white horse, but Thomas said, uh, 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 I'm not coming over because she wanted him to come over. And she's like, no, uh -uh, I ain't coming. So she busts up over there. And she calling uh, uh, Connie all kind of names and all that. They going back and forth. And I thought you were going to be that old. Son. 
But when she, when they pushed her out the door, she said, fuck uh, Melania. I said, like, who, what? I was laughing when Connie said, and hey, get your hands off of my son. I said, hold on. Now that's an opportunity for Thomas' real mama to whoop your way. Yeah. Side. I know you. I know really, you got cancer and everything right now. But, but you um, can get your cancerous hop off whooped in your own house. Yes, indeed. That's still her son. And yep. I know he acting an A right now because everything is about his daddy. But I'm like, nah, you don't do that, Connie. <laughs> Melania. Yeah. I said, we talking about the same Melania? Do great. Yeah. So, I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. So, we see uh, Tommy got his uh, $2 million together and went over there and paid um, Jason. And uh, Jason was uh, pretty much cool with that. But he was like, I still need those Jimenez to be uh, killed. I because need I need them ports, you know. This need to be done before the feds, because, you know, I heard they got locked up. So, we need to make this happen. And Ghost was in the cut like. And Ghost was like, huh? I said, oh, yeah, he didn't know about that. Yeah, so Ghost was like, we can't do it right now, because they we do it. They're going to know who it was. So, we see later on in the episode that Kanan, of course, the guy that's playing chess, while everybody else playing checkers, he decides. He gonna go and talk to um I can't remember his nickname but his real name is Francis. <laughs> <laughs> Told Francis about the hit, and so no, two bit. Yeah, That's the name. Two bit. Yeah, two bit. Two bit. Cause you know but, they're um, gonna stop typing. Yeah, <laughs> it don't even matter. So they get to talking, and he told um two bit that Ghost is not gonna be the one that's gonna kill um Diego. It's gonna be me. So he was like, okay. You think, uh, what you call it, gonna be good with that? He's like, yeah, he's gonna be good with that. What I tell him, he's gonna do it. So, they set it all up. What it did, they told Diego that it's gonna be a party. And we invite you to the party. And, and he women. was like, yeah, because Dre had came and gave him some cash too. And the the security guard was like, I want some BBW. And he, and he said, like, make sure you get him the BBW. And he was <laughs> like, I want a real B. He's I hope my girl real. I said, you better come on with it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So, so they come up over there, ain't suspecting nothing coming. They had champagne, and then they had on the it floor like a pussy setup. this way. I was like, what? It looked like a setup. Yeah, it looked, but you know Diego, he ain't too smart. Uh -huh. And of course, they went through the door. They gonna cane him. Bow! Took him out. Chopped his head off. Put it in a Louis Vuitton bag. <laughs> and I said, did he really cut Diego's head off? Cut his head right off. And delivered it to Jason and yep. said, they were stalling. Now, can I work with you? Yeah. And I take over time as ports. He was like, good job, but uh, nah, you still I'm, need to prove yourself. You gotta still prove yourself because this don't mean nothing. I was like, cutting somebody's head off don't mean nothing. And he said, plus, I still need Tommy and Ghost to be gone with. He said, don't worry about that. He said, they're going to take care of himself. Because he came and was like, I want Tommy's position in the organization. After he bought the head. So I guess, thought he, I guess he thought doing that. Was gonna get him that position. I would have thought. Yeah, I would have <laughs> thought too. But uh, but we know Kanan. He's still playing chess. He got it all. He got it all mm -hmm. figured out. He's he gonna he gonna make his way right on up in now. Why are we talking about people cutting people up? How about that scene with Teresi and them went over there to get his money from the ramen noodles? Yeah. When he went to get his money from the middleman, and middleman decided to put some weights in the briefcase, and Teresi said, "The sum ain't right. The weight is off." Yeah. So yeah. I said, okay, Ray Charles. <laughs> and um, he went in there and saw the weights. And they ended up drilling, literally, this dude. And that's when Tommy started talking too goddamn much. He was like, man, yeah. you're a certified killer pop. Da, 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 da. He was like, oh, Tommy, so have you ever killed anybody before? He over yeah, just yeah. said, he just I said, going about too much. And he can say me in the back like, yeah, we got him now, boy. Keep talking. I think if um, Teresa don't turn over on Tommy, I think that Sammy will. Yeah, because especially the look he got when he didn't get invited to that dinner. He was hurt, boy. He was he hurt. He was butt hurt, boy. He was yeah. like, huh, I can't get no carries cooking. Come on now. I said, that was wrong, Teresa. <laughs> yep. Now we still have this dig on snakes. Uh, take the snake. Tell Ghost, officially, <clears throat> you offer the Queen's Child Project. Because you can't get this anger under control. <laughs> you making us look bad. <laughs> Out here in these streets. Yeah. So I was like, I know Ghost is not going to take that lady down. Mm -hmm. So he went and talked to that dude, that, the other dude. I can't think of his name, but he was the, the middleman liaison. And uh, 
this dude proceeds to spill the beans. Cause Ghost is like, whatever Tate is paying you, you work for me, I'll double that. He was like, oh yeah, word. But he said, you know, in the Tree and Child, Queen Child Project, when the money comes in, that comes to me. Right off the top. He said, so he's skimming the money he's skimming to pay the money me. To pay me. So he and I was that. like, wait a minute, but that's Ghost's money. Ghost is the one that's been funding that. And that's why he looked at him like that. He said, so you willing to give more money? You made it a skim more off the top? Yeah. It's a skim off the top? He said, oh, you don't know? I was like, <laughs> what? Basically, he using your money to exactly. pay me. Because you remember, we kept on saying, what is Tate's motive to get Ghost to work with him in this project? Money. But it was all about the money. The funding. Because he knew. And then he used the opportunity of his daughter dying to get to his heart even more. And then created a project around his daughter, which will make him go even faster into his pocket. That's genius, though. It really is. That's a chess move right there. Uh, Gangster. Politicians. Yeah, <laughs> that's what they do. They got to finagle that money out your pocket. So we didn't realize that Ghost was recording the conversation. I'm like, so is that he, illegal? Is that illegal? <laughs> yeah, because, you know, on some jobs, you got to you work on the telephone. You got to disclose that you're recording somebody. <laughs> so, but in the streets, you don't do that. Yeah, okay. What you going to do? So Ghost set up another meeting with Tate. Played him back the recording, and he was like, um, effective immediately. I'm back on the project, and um, you're gonna let all the other cats know. And he was like, Yep, soon I finish that, you back on. Mm -hmm. I said, They got the own ghost again. Mm -hmm. Got him. I said, Now you're dealing with ghosts. Yeah. Again. You've been dealing with James all up until this other point, but now, yeah, you got you got ghosts, and, and I don't think uh, he's gonna be going away. So, um, we see uh, one part in the episode with Angela and uh, Tommy. <laughs> that was funny. He breaking in her cars. He breaking in her house. So, she know now that pretty much her whole department is on her hind parts because uh, what you call it, told her. In, in so many words. Donovan. Like, Donovan told her. He told her what I was. He said, I put it to you this way, that you don't have no, no friends, friends in this department. So, immediately she go into... I got to fix this. So she meets up with Tommy. Well, Tommy actually popped up in the back of the car. And she was like, I need somebody eliminated. And he was like, what do you mean eliminated? He like, said, you cold-blooded too? Yeah. <laughs> he said, he said she, he was like, when did you turn bad? She was like, fooling with y'all. Fool, yeah, fooling around. Yeah, fooling around, fool around with y'all. But she was like, he was like, what's his name? And she said, John. And she was like, huh, that narrows it down. Our last name, please. She was like, but I'm going to wait on that. I got another plan that I'm going to try first mm -hmm. to see if that's going to work. But we've seen earlier in the episode, she was talking to that other dude. Ma. Um, Not my, the dude mm -hmm. that um got the him in. Oh, the one out. that she, um, she was sleeping with? Yeah, so she told him that, ask him, do you have, do you have any jobs available? I, I you know, I want to, you know, I'm have a DC. I, yeah, I want with DC. He was like, yeah, I think I can, you know, work that out because she went, he pretty much, she went down the line explaining to him about the him and his and, you know, how she, you know. She overqualified yeah, for what she is, so she yeah. was a great asset and all that good stuff. But not knowing that she was not securing that for her, but to offer that to mom. Because she know he's power hungry. Exactly. And it's, he needs to win. He needs a he, win. He needs a win. So he can calm the buck down. I hope. I hope he calm down. So. She meets up with him and she pitched him that idea that, hey, you want that job in DC. But she didn't tell him what she want. He was like, so what do you want to know? Uh, which we all know she gonna want him off the off her home parts. Mm -hmm. But I don't know how she gonna tell him that. You know what I'm saying? Or he might already know that's what she wants. Basically what she told him without telling him is, I don't have any friends. We can't stand each other. Yeah. So why don't we be frenemies? I scratch your back and you definitely yeah, need to scratch my back. So I get you which I know that you want power, better yeah. position, mm -hmm. somewhere where you can win. Exactly. And I need to stay alive and out of jail. Yep. So uh uh let's do this. Yep. And now now Donovan don't want nothing else to do with her no more. Nah. He was like, whatever you got going on, keep my name out of it. Keep my name out of it, and I ain't got your back on this one. Donovan turned real black, real quick. Yeah, he yes, yeah, he did. He, he said, I don't oh. care that you got me off of, cause they thought he killed um Mike, but he was like, you got me off of that, but I ain't got nothing to do with you with this one right here. Mm -hmm. You on you on your own. <laughs> 
But yeah, that was it. That was pretty much the end of the episode. Oh no, Teresa. Teresa went and confessed that ghost. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually killed <laughs> uh, Charlie Murphy. Yeah. Up in the prison, but that won't the murder they really was trying to get information on. Mm -hmm. So he really, I think he really is trying to keep Tommy's name out of it. Out of it. Yeah, because Tommy had nothing to do with that. But at the same time, he give a ghost up like a motherfucker. Mm -hmm. But he's feeding them a, a murder. Yeah. That's not the one they're looking for. Cause they looking for what is it, Mike? Mike. Is his name Mike? Yeah. yeah. They looking for Mike. It's a murderer. Yeah. So they can tie all that bulls get together. Yep. But he didn't. He didn't give it to him. But he yeah. don't know. Yeah, you don't. Not that I remember anyway. Yeah. I mean, it was it was a good episode. It's still a, a lot going on, man. It's a lot. So. Yeah. Who knows who's gonna be on top? Yeah. So now we got Diego. Oh, going. Uh -huh. did, did you tell him that um? <laughs> I don't even remember if we told him that um. Well, Jason. That Kanan warned Jason. Yeah. And mm -hmm. when Dre came through. Ain't nobody in there but a housekeeper. J Man, that gun that Dre had, boy, was on. That, that was that was crazy gun. So we have God Don Diego and Homeboy did. Yep. But Jason's still walking around here. So when all of this come back to Ghost and Dre, boom. That's gonna here look we like go he didn't again. do a job. Mm-hmm. And Kanan. But I think Dre chest. But I think Dre know that he had to be tipped off because how why how did he just all of a sudden just leave? Oh he know. Yeah, so he noticed I might have tipped him But off. he gonna think that, um... The ghost did it? They, the ghost set him up? Yeah, because ghosts over there eating goddamn food with Angela. Yep. When all this going on. <laughs> yeah. Huh. We'll see what this come up to be next week. Indeed. Straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty south. Two up. Two, Two down. down. Holla.